Hey guys, uh, this is Veera. Um, let's talk about uh, what is the default order. So when we specify the media type as uh, XML or JSON in our uh, controller endpoints. So basically by default, so the order will be maintained. So as we define the media types in our uh, REST endpoints. So let me show you so that you will understand better go to our workspace. So here I have a controller which has uh, two producers. So one is going to be the XML and another one is the JSON. So by default, so whatever the order that we specify, the response will be produced in the same order. So let's say here, I'm going to produce the response as a XML. And the second response format is going to be the JSON. So in the postman or in the client. So since the default producer type is a XML, I no need to specify the accept header. So let me show you the demo. So since here, the, uh, the default response is the XML. Now go to the postman. In the postman, if you see here, I don't have anything accept XML, right? So now uh, if I'm going to rerun this, so by default, you can see the produced response as XML. So let's say if I want to produce a JSON format, explicitly we will have to specify application slash JSON because so we are overriding the behavior of the response or the media type in this particular response type. So by default, as we know, the Spring Boot produces the JSON, but I am changing the order. I am defining the first order as XML and then JSON. So since we are changing the order, so we will have to specify if you want to produce the JSON format. If I don't want to produce the JSON, I, if I want to have uh, only the XML response, you can even uncheck this accept or you can check the accept and specify application slash XML to produce the XML response. So that's all guys uh, for this. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this.